Many of you have sent in questions about the role of the Supreme Court and what justices can and cannot do. This morning we're answering those questions for you. So let's bring in legal analyst Dr. Laura McNeil. Uh, good morning to you, Laura. Thank you so much for being with us. I know the Supreme Court has ruled on some huge cases over the last week. I mean, we're hearing about, uh, of course, the much talked about abortion rights debate now, uh, prayer at school, the Second Amendment. Why are all of these huge, very polarizing uh, cases coming down right now? Well, essentially, these are very complicated, as you said, highly contentious cases. And so the Supreme Court justices, they want to make sure they get it right. And so essentially, they're taking their time developing their own legal analysis and research regarding these legal issues. And they also want to give themselves time to consider other justices' legal analysis before they have to come together as a collective court and make that final vote. And so because they're such important issues, they're taking their time. That's why we typically see these really big cases rolling out towards the end of the term. There has been some level of panic, or at least concern, uh, by some Americans after seeing the power, uh, the sway that the Supreme Court holds over the past week. We have a question from one of our viewers, John Casey in Edgewood, New Mexico. Let's listen. Women could not serve in combat roles in the United States military or as police officers or firefighters. Can the Supreme Court overturn the laws that gave women the right to do that? I think I know the answer, but I want to hear your legal response. <laughs> yes, it's a really interesting uh, question. Yes, no, the Supreme Court cannot overturn those rules. Um, one thing about our Constitution is we have the Equal Protection Clause that ensures that no one is discriminated when it works like it's supposed to because of their gender. And so the Supreme Court does not have a legal basis to overturn any of those things with respect to women in either combat positions or, as he mentioned, firefighters or police officers. I do have one follow up, and I don't want to throw you off guard here but dr mcneil the fact is is that i think the word opinion it's a legal term but people might be hearing that everyday people watching the news and think this is based on the justices personal opinions but each and every case they rule on they actually have to take precedent into into consideration and they have to have a true legal argument so for all of these cases they're going by the book right Yes, that is absolutely correct. When we hear legal opinion, I always tell my law students, it just means the court's collective decision on a particular legal issue. And so it says opinion, but it's really their interpretation of the law. And they are supposed to rely on precedent, meaning what has the Supreme Court ruled on in the past? And that's why this Roe versus Wade reversal is so ground shaking uh, to not only the legal field, but the society in general, because it is making people uneasy thinking, what's next? And what they ruled on specifically was that abortion was not a constitutionally protected right. I think a lot of people are confused about exactly what the justices decided on here, but that it's not in the Constitution doesn't mean that there's a nationwide ban on the procedure. That's correct. And so because it's not explicitly stated in the Constitution, we call these substantive due process rights. And so, for instance, the right to raise your children the way you choose to, that's not explicitly written in the Constitution, but it's almost what we call an implied right, meaning you can do that. And so abortion is the same sense. It's not specifically a right written in the Constitution. So the Supreme Court recently said, you know what, we're going to send it back to the states, let them decide on an individual basis, because it's not explicitly explicitly written in the Constitution. Dr. Laura McNeil, I hope that you come back again. It was great to have you on. And John, thank you for asking your question. We appreciate both of you. Thanks. You can send us your questions at newsnationnow.com slash answers for America. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.